In a bold and uncompromising statement, opposition leader Nelson Chamisa, head of the Citizens Coalition for Change CCC, promised that he would not accept defeat in the next presidential election on August 23rd. Appearing on HSTV's Free Talk program, Chamisa reaffirmed his unwavering conviction that his party deserves to win the election. Tensions are rising as the political scene becomes more intense because of the recent recollections of the disputed 2018 elections where Chamisa narrowly lost to President Emerson Umnengogwa. But, Chamisa's comments have come under fire from the ruling ZANU-PF party, which accuses him of purposefully inflaming tensions before the election. Let it be known that ZANU-PF will never assume leadership in this nation, Chamisa said during his presence on the program, underscoring his unflinching confidence. We are unable to lose and we will not put up with fakes. We are the winners. We'll prevail in this election. He added that any proclamation disputing their win would be regarded as fictional and untrue. The political landscape has been rocked by Chamisa's audacious statement. Upping the stakes and preparing the ground for a potentially turbulent election. Both supporters and detractors are eagerly awaiting the results of this crucial contest for leadership in Zimbabwe as the election date approaches. In a prompt response, the ruling ZANU-PF party accused Chamisa of aiming to stir up violence and escalating tensions among the population. Concerns raised by ZANU-PF Center on the possibility that Chamisa's remarks could lead to post-election violence. Farai Merapaira, the acting director of information for ZANU-PF, claimed that Chamisa posed a threat of inciting political unrest. When Newsday called Merapaira for comment, he said whether someone agrees with it or not. They will have to get used to the fact that the law indicates who has won. We are aware that the opposition uses words like this to provoke violence. They constantly work to stir up and create hate among Zimbabweans. Clearly, Chumisa knows he lost and is attempting to incite his fans to violence in his speech. Zimbabwe is preparing for a crucial turning point in its democratic development as the country holds its breath while expecting the results of the presidential election on August 23rd and a resolution to this protracted political impasse.